This one for the friends Showing love to my real ones Say it on my chest Put up if you know Okay, so um, I was looking at my latest video, my couple videos. Hopefully you guys go ahead and check those out. I'll have those in the bottom bar. I'm thinking about going to the store. You guys know that I have a scooter. I don't know if you know. I'm going to show you my scooter in a minute. But I've been thinking about going to the store, getting a workout mat, and then going to the beach. Like, I love the beach. When I first got here, I used to go to the beach every day. And I have tons of vlogs about when I first moved here, the DR vlogs. And I just love it. I don't know. I love thinking about when I first got here because there's so many things I didn't know. There are so many things that I just didn't know, you know? I love it here though. I really do. Um, I'm definitely going to be sharing more of my adventures with you guys, more of the places that I go, the things that I do. I'm going to start doing more as well. So I hope um, you guys stay tuned. I actually just got done cooking. I made myself some zucchini, some tomatoes, and some eggs. I don't eat meat as much as I used to. I don't really drink anymore. Um, I don't smoke anymore. Um, the one thing that I stopped doing that I need to start doing again is working out. My lifestyle has changed so much. I don't have a microwave. Um, I don't have hot water. Well, I do have hot water, I just don't use it. A lot of places out here don't have hot water. Um, I don't eat processed food really anymore or heavily processed. Um, if I go out to eat, I'll get empanadas, but most of those are handy. Like, it's a very whole food culture. Their processed food section in the grocery store is not popping. And at first, I was kind of like disappointed that I couldn't find different things. I love dumplings. The little pot stickers, I used to eat those daily. Like, they're so good with soy sauce and rice and different things. It's just different. I'm going to have to take you on a voyage to the grocery store and show you some different things. I actually did a video where I showed, like, clips and pieces of the grocery store, but not much. But anyway, we're going to be getting ready in a few minutes. I'm going to hop in the shower. I'm going to do, like, a little a light face, some sunscreen. And then, I don't know, I think we should go to the beach. <laughs> Let's go to the beach. <laughs> so my video is playing in the background one thing about me i'm gonna watch my video 18 29 times number one because i can always learn something new to do better i listen to the way i speak and i want to see if i can be more clear i um also you know what i'm saying it just helps me to be more communicative and a better storyteller um so i had a shirt yesterday that I I put into the wash with a whole bunch of other stuff and it took on some color. I didn't think it would because I recognized the fabric as being synthetic, so I didn't think it would take on color so easily, but it did. Took it out, I hand washed it. The color didn't come out. Color still didn't come out. I poured bleach into a bowl with it and the thread around the buttons was black and it's, it bled color all over my shirt like look you can't see because I've been working on it and it's like I pretty much bought it back to life but there was oh here goes one Ble um color all over my shirt I love this shirt and I'm just like trying to get my shirt to at least be wearable again aside from watching my videos over and over again I really love my old world sometimes it don't mean nothing doesn't really have to. I love her perspective on things when it comes to colors and textures and featureism and all the isms. The original color that you can maybe see here that got onto it still has not come out through all the drama. This one friends. That's my new theme song. This one friends. So I need to start getting ready. I need to hop in a shower. This is like my, my changing room, my clothing room, my dressing room. Um, let my phone charge a little bit. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't have a towel. Get dressed. I've already packed my bag. I've already, I've kind of eaten lunch. Um, I just realized I have never done an apartment tour with you guys. I'm gonna have to do an apartment tour with you guys. Um, I'm gonna put on my, here we go. My sun, my scar cream with sun protection. Put the scar on my leg.
I used the Mederma sunscreen on my face today, but I'm going to bring my Invelios with me. I'm also going to put some on my chest, shoulders, and arms. Oh, animal print. Hey, 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 hey. Um, I put in a tiny bit of It Cosmetics um, CC New Glow. I use deep bronze. It's too dark for me, but it's not that dark. I have the color that's right for me. Um, I recently moved all my makeup from my living room, uh, from my kitchen area, into here. I'm not really going to powder my makeup. I'm going to use some setting spray. And then that's really it, you know? Um, maybe I'll do a touch of powder. Oh, I didn't even realize. Ooh, I'm coordinated. I used my It Cosmetics um, makeup with an It Cosmetics blush. Such an influencer. Am I the only person that puts on sunblock and then oil as well? Because I like to look glowy. I prioritize more so the skin, the face, from the aging and the radius. But for my body, I also do use... Um, sunblock but I also want to go out soon you know you know you know let's see how this goes let's mix it out hey Siri hey Siri hey Siri oh what a bitch hey Siri hey Siri hey Siri can you mix sunscreen and oil okay you're saying if you're gonna use oil use it first um yeah, so we'll remember that for next time. <laughs> okay, we ready to go. This is my beach day outfit. I got my favorite bikini and snake print. What you think about the snake print and the cow print? Nails by Nixie, as always. Exclusive Felipe Tons. Okay, so I went to get my tripod, and this is why I absolutely cannot with cheap water bottles, okay? I laid my bag to the side just so I <laughs> could go inside and get my stuff. And the water bottle pretty much spilled all my water, but I'm not even gonna let it piss me off the way it wants to. It wants to piss me off, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna go put some more water in my bottle. I might go change the bottle. I might just get my Brita. Man, that Brita bottle was worth every penny. Okay. Mm. Count your days. Count your days, little cheap bottle. Okay, you guys. So this is my scooter. This is my baby, honey. I bought her for like $400. I've definitely gotten my money worth. She is a Gato RS150. And we got into a little couple accidents. You know, you'll see some beauty marks or whatever. I thought that I would just quickly introduce you to her. You know what I'm saying? She's a little a street scooter. I don't really go on the highway or anything. Got a little trunk, a little trunk action. I usually put my keys in here and lock it so I never lose my house keys. But yeah, that's my little baby. Oh my God, I just realized I forgot mine. My tripod. Let me go get my tripod. So beautiful. Be fucking girl.
know, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, riding over here on my scooter, coming to the beach, living where I live, my daily activities, so many of the things that I'm lucky enough, blessed enough, that I worked hard enough to do, you know, started three, four, five years ago, you know, and it just goes to show you that no situation is permanent, you know, you can always level up at any time, at any time you decide that you want to start changing your life, you can, like, it's just crazy, I know this sounds so hokey, and oh my god, I'm gonna be, so I have inspiration, but... I've always wanted to live in a different country. Like every time I would leave the country, I would just be like, oh my God, I wanted to live in Colombia and I still may. Um, when I went to the United Kingdom, I was like, oh my God, I wanna live in the United Kingdom and I still may. The only thing that draws me out to this side of the world is being able to have such a beautiful, relaxed, easy going life and then the cost of living, the food, the people, the culture, I thoroughly enjoy it. You know, it's not for everyone for sure, but I really love my life these days. Like, it's so peaceful and I'm just, I'm just enjoying it a lot more than I have in the past, being completely honest. Just being completely honest. I'm loving life, uh, so relaxing, it's easy going. Probably gonna go walk a bit, work out a little bit, get a coconut, you know. I usually finish my water and then fill it with water from the ocean to clean my feet. But I may just use what I have in here because I don't feel like <laughs> walking back to the water, even though it's not that far. And I like to stay here later, but I don't know. I had a really good day. I had a nice walk. I'm definitely going to start coming more often. I'm thinking about coming in the mornings to work out. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. I hope you guys had a fun time with me. I'm gonna go home and cook. Probably gonna make some chicken and bean stew. Last time I made it, it was so thick. This time I make it a little bit more brothy, so it lasts a little bit longer. It's gonna be good. I got sand all in my butt crack. Oh God, I can feel it. Oh, I'm gonna have to like dust off outside or get in the pool when I get back home because Got so much sand on me. Look at mommy, baby. I love my scooter. I do not care. Y'all would think I would want a car. I do not. I love my little scooter. I want to get a shot of me on her. I made it home safe. Today was a bomb ass day. We're about to cook dinner. I'm about to have some wine. And um, I get in the pool before it's too late. But today was such a good day. I'm not gonna push it. I might just go in the house, <sighs> eat, cook. Anyway, I'm not gonna be eating right away. I'm not gonna be eating for a while, honey. But let's see what I cook. Okay, peaceful, house clean. 
smell good in here. It's like, if I blow something with a, 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 a little hint of bleach. Let me see. Hey, here it is. Huh, um, you Check your comments. Okay, let me stop. So we're home from the beach. I'm about to make some dinner. Do some dishes, honey. Let me turn the lighting up. Hopefully it don't change me too much. Um, I am so hungry. Mm. For breakfast, I made, um, what was like my breakfast and my lunch? I made zucchini, tomatoes, onions, and a boiled egg. I'm about to eat some of that real quick while I cook dinner. Dinner about to be late tonight. I'm a little bowl of egg. So hungry. I love having, because usually while I cook, I'm hungry, right? So I love having a little something to eat while I wait for my food to get done. Mmm. I didn't even know the camera was on. I am sitting here and I am answering comments on YouTube. So right now I'm looking at a comment from La Tanya Chanel. And I was asking you guys like, what are, your, what are some of your favorite features about yourself? And she said, I love my almond shaped eyes too, my beautiful skin, my big natural hair, my big natural booty, my bow legs and all. Oh, I said, yes, the bow leg head. By the way, I took a shower and I used the um, Elemis, the Elemis Frappagini. I, <laughs> I cannot say it right for anything. Oil, oh my God, it smells so good. And I used some of the um, bum bum cream in, in the teal container. Incomparable, it smells so good. So right now my chicken is soaking. And I, I'm trying to think what I can cook that's like quick. So I'm thinking zucchini, onions, tomatoes, carrots, sauteed over rice with like pan fried chicken and olive oil with like a little bit of like maybe barbecue sauce or something like that. Like I'm not gonna lie to you, I've been eating that like a lot. <laughs> that's like my go-to meal, it's quick. It's not terrible. Um, I've been really focusing on my water intake and getting more active. So you guys may see some workout here and there, but I definitely need to get more active because I eat really well. I drink a ton of water, so there's no reason that I shouldn't be losing a little bit more weight than I am, but I'm not like, I'm not being as active as I, as I could be. So I'm gonna focus on that a little bit. Check it out. I I charge my little headphones. I gotta sweep the house and make sure I get rid of all this sand. If you live in a really warm, human environment, you know, you gotta get the sand out of your house because that's how those moths, plaster bag worms, I think they're called, that's how they, they get popping. That's how they get popping, so. Dimensional reality, all of a sudden now, there's another world that exists called a quantum world, or the fifth dimension. Now, in this realm, this quantum world, there's nothing physical. It's made up of consciousness or thought. This is the realm of thought. And thought finally starts cooking. <laughs> um my chicken so really fat under I love garlic cake.
This one for the friends. Showing love to my real ones. Say it on my chest. Put up if you need.